guys, it's Megan, and today I'm going to bring you my Meg's Money Musings for May. Whoa, all those M's in a row. <laughs> it's like, don't take a shot every time I say a word with M because you will die. But May was an interesting month for me. Also, I just painted my nails, so I'm gonna be like weird because they're wet, and oh great, I have a hair stuck in one. That's nice. Um, May was an interesting month for me in terms of my money because I had a lot of victories and I'm proud of a lot of things, but I shopped more than I wanted to or that I hoped that I would have. Um, I started off the month really strong because I was in Jamaica, so I had no like inklings to shop i like had no desire to shop like i wasn't looking on my phone i was reading and it was just a really awesome escape in so many ways um but definitely in terms of my impulses to shop like i really had none and that was really freeing and my mind had space to think about other things instead of always thinking about oh my gosh what am I going to do with all this money that I make and it's like I would love to hear your suggestions or what you do um if you struggle with this as well where it's like I am so proud of how hard I work and the money that I make yet for some reason, whenever I get money, the first thing I want to do is spend it. And I'm like, what am I doing? Like, why, 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 why? And like I said, I shopped this month, but I definitely did better than previous months. I shopped a little bit here and there, only when things were on sale though. I didn't just like go out and buy stuff that I just wanted. Um, it was definitely things specifically on sale. The ColourPop birthday collection, that was something I was wanting for a while. Did I need it? No. Does it make me happy? Yes. And it was only like $30, so that's not that bad in like the scheme of things. But so it's like a double-edged sword. It's like I'm glad I didn't shop that much, but I could have shopped less. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. And June, I'm curious to see how June goes um, because I'm still trying to like hone these skills of talking myself out of things, resisting things. And I did a pretty good job this month of resisting things or at least walking away when I felt tempted in store. So I filmed a video of a Marshall's shop with me and that was so much fun. I really enjoyed filming that, but it showed me how tempting it is for me to go to stores, even if I am only looking for a certain thing um, and I don't really have an intention or a need to buy anything other than that certain thing, but if I look for things, like if I'm just looking around, I almost bought stuff. And I'll talk about that in my um, Stuff I Was Tempted to Buy video, which is always the next video after this one. And that has a few things that I literally almost bought at Marshalls that day, but I put back because I talked myself out of them. And you can actually see that in my Marshalls video, I explain why I didn't buy it. And I felt really proud of myself for that because I easily could have bought it, but it wasn't something that like was mind blowing to me or that really filled a need in my collection. I don't have a need for anything in terms of makeup or beauty, but I love makeup and beauty. And so it's like this, I don't know. It's like a disjointed type of thing going on in my mind where I'm like, I don't need more. And then I'm like, but I really want it. And it's, I've struggled with it for pretty much my whole life. I don't remember a time when I didn't feel like shopping. Like I've always had the desire and I've always enjoyed it and I love new shiny pretty things. And so it's just like naturally who I am. And so working against that is definitely difficult. 
So shopping wasn't my strongest month whatsoever. Like I bought stuff. So I'm not on a no buy, but I do want to rein it in even more than I'm already doing. So we're on a good path. I'm just scared that with the beginning of July being my birthday, that that will be my excuse that I can buy things and I don't want that to be the case. I'm I have plenty of things that I'm doing around my birthday that I do not need to spend more money on myself. So I hope I can resist. I need to resist. So yeah, there's that. Um, something that I, I'm proud of quite a few things right now. But one of my proudest accomplishments this month is that I bought myself the new camera that I'm using right now, the Canon G7X Mark II. I've wanted it since Rachel let me use her camera for like the past few months. And it's just such a step up in quality. It's so clear. It's so like amazing. I can see myself in the viewfinder. Like it's everything that I wanted in a camera. It has autofocus during videos. If it's like all the things that I wanted in a new camera. I've been saving $20 a week for about a year now um, and adding some money here and there when I had extra money that I could save or that I wanted to save. And I was originally saving up for a laptop, but I decided to take the money that I saved up and use it to buy this camera. So I was able to pay for it in full in cash felt so good to be able to do that for myself and I wasn't expecting to get it this month but I just I really felt like it was the right time I really wanted it and I had the money so I bought it felt amazing and I I'm so happy with my purchase. So if you're in the market for like a new camera, I'll link it below. I bought it on Amazon in this huge like bundle that was a much better price than just getting it on its own. So definitely Amazon I think is the place to buy cameras because with all the competition on there, the price gets pretty low and it really benefits the consumer. So I, I got a really great deal on that. And the biggest thing that I'm proud of this month is that I paid off another one of my student loans. So in my case, I have like, I think I had five student loans left and that all have different interest rates. So I have been, I always pay more than the minimum that I need to pay for my student loans. And so with the extra money that I put towards it, I always try to get to like a round number. So I put more money towards it to get to that round number. And I've been putting most of the extra money towards my least, um, my highest interest rate, but the least money loan that I had. And I was able to pay that off in full this month. And so now I'm putting the money I was putting towards that towards my next highest interest rate, lowest um, cost loan. And that is basically like the snowball method from Dave Ramsey. And I don't do that in a lot of aspects of my life, but definitely in terms of student loans, I've seen how effectively that works and how I've been able to chip away at like all of my loans at once, but especially one loan in particular. And then I can pay it off. Like I paid like a hundred or something to just completely pay it off. And it, it just felt so freeing. And that is what I want to continue to be able to do for myself is to free myself from that debt. And I always had like a plan to pay off all my student loans by five years after I graduated. Well, it's five years after I graduated. I have not paid off all of my student loans, but I feel like I'm in a really good place. I don't have a ton, a ton, a ton left, but it's definitely gonna take me much longer than I anticipated um, because I have other things going on. I have my car payment now and all these different things that I didn't have before when I had that like, <laughs> like dream, I guess, to pay it off in five years. But definitely I'm on a great path, especially with paying more than the minimum. And yeah, I'm just really glad that I was able to get rid of that highest interest rate one. Like goodbye. So long. I will not miss you at all. <laughs> My next goal for myself is to really try to simulate moving out and like the rent expense in terms of me saving. So I want to, instead of paying rent, 
pay myself and save that money towards whatever the next step for myself might be that might be moving to an apartment i am not sure i'm still trying to weigh the pros and cons there's so many pros and so many cons for both and like both renting and buying so it's really tricky for me right now i can't figure out what to do i'm content living at home but i know I want to have that freedom and that extra, I don't know, I don't know. It's just like one of those things. Obviously I want to move out and I want to be on my own and I just need to figure out like, do I want to buy a house or do I want to rent? And I can't decide basically. So that is where I'm struggling, I guess a little bit. I'm still on my path to my savings goal for the year. I've still been putting the money aside that I need to to reach that and again with like direct deposit into my savings account it makes it like a no-brainer I don't have a say in the matter because it just is automatically taken from my bank account so that's been really good and so I'm on a good path I could shop less I definitely could shop less um, and I did a few things this month like I got my hair uh, more blonde and I got my second um, hole piercing and those things cost money so those were expenses that I wanted to spend that don't that aren't like tangible items but it's like something that I did for my own like aesthetic purposes and so I can't like neglect budgeting those things and I just need to get better about budgeting that's like my number one thing I still I don't love any of the budgeting systems that I've used I've tried YNAB so many times and I just it just doesn't seem to work for me and I don't know I've seen some people just like swear by it and some people are like me and just it doesn't work for them so I'm trying to figure out is an Excel spreadsheet good enough like is there another system so if you have a favorite budgeting system or spreadsheet or whatever please let me know in the comments like I'll try pretty much anything at this point I'm really good at budgeting for like longer term things I guess I just don't feel like I am as good as sticking to a budget of like okay I have a hundred dollars this month to spend on whatever I want like stick to it I I don't stick to a budget like that and that's what I really need to do that's what I struggle with so um I need to be better about that and excuses excuses but I think having a system that works better for me is what I need to find. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. But I appreciate you guys watching this Meg's Money Musings for May 2019. I feel really good about certain changes that I've been making and certain things I've been accomplishing, but I do feel like I can improve at so much more in terms of my spending, especially my spending. I'm doing great at saving, but not as much at spending, like spending less. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy just hearing my thoughts for the past month. Let's hope that June is is another strong month and even stronger than May but I hope you guys are having a great one thanks so much for being here and I'll see you soon bye